it. I was born in France from Spanish parents and have been living in Dublin for about nearly 11 years. Uh, and I teach flamenco here in the studio. My parents are Spanish, uh, but um, I was raised in the south of France and there there was no flamenco, so I grew up dancing ballet and other forms of dance. And it's only when I came to Dublin that I actually found a class and I was, you know, I was working, so I was settled. And um, I was going to Belfast about once a month to uh, take classes there. And then I started bringing the teacher over here. And, and that, that was my introduction to, to flamenco dance. The school started about three years ago when we felt there was a need to provide education in flamenco because there were no classes. It's all about coordination and sense of rhythm and, and you have to learn different forms of flamenco rhythms before you can really deepen your knowledge of it. But uh, as a real beginner, it, you know, the first few classes are going to be very overwhelming but you, you teach your brain as well so you know the more you do it the more comfortable you're going to get into it. Not too many get scared because I'm very careful to you know to insist on the fact that it is a difficult discipline you cannot learn flamenco in a few months you know it's just it, it, you have to be serious about it and and be patient more especially you know and the, the classes can be a bit of a mixed level um, people are more improvers or more elementary level and you know beginners come in and they tend to focus around them so what I would say to them is to focus on themselves after all flamenco you dance for yourself you know it's it's something that is good uh, for your own posture and for your own confidence as well you know it's going to attract a lot of different nationalities so you know people come in and maybe after a few years they move on and they go back to their country or they just move so We've seen, you know, people coming and going, but uh, there's quite a, a strong core, you know, beginners find it very overwhelming because flamenco is a difficult discipline. So uh, I try my best to explain that, you know, it, it takes some time to get into. It's not, people I think have this notion that flamenco is just a, you know, a nice skirt and a flower in the hair and then off you go and you're dancing, but it is a difficult discipline. Flamenco as we know it is probably about 200 years old, that's it, you know, it's not an ancient form of dance, and, uh, but it has mixed origins, so it comes from gypsy and Indian, Indian uh, races and cultures, so it's kind of a big blend of, of music and dance, and, and flamenco actually didn't start with the dance, it started with the, the singing, el cante, o cante hondo, which is, you know, shanas would be your equivalent here, I guess, to cante hondo. Uh, so even though flamenco is always, you know, the enticing dancing, it, it is more than that. It is singing, it is guitar playing and percussion. So yeah, Culture and I, we're very excited to take part this year. Um, we'll be offering tasters uh, here in the studios, in the Trust studios. So um, it will be probably, you know, a big group of people and, and we'll do some basic uh, flamenco steps and just so people get a feel for what it can be to, to start learning flamenco. And then with a couple of the more advanced students, we're going to be doing some performances. So I can't disclose yet the location, but it's going to be some unusual uh, places where we're just going to burst into uh, some flamenco. <laughs> I think with flamenco what it is, it's like it's a, it's a way to live and it's, it's identity as well. It's not just, it's more, much more than dancing because it encompasses so many disciplines in a way but but for me it's just the way I am I guess and you know in Spanish you would say alguien es flamenco so somebody is flamenco it doesn't mean that they're the dance or whatever it's just that they have that style and that attitude and you know it can be cheekiness it can be being more somber about certain things but uh, but it is a way of life and it is an identity of, of the people of Andalusia. <laughs> Um, I'm Irish from Waterford originally but living in Dublin for the last 20 years and I've been studying flamenco for the last seven years. I started initially trying to learn to play flamenco guitar and realized that was way beyond my level of guitar playing so I decided to try my hand at dance instead and found that I found it more enjoyable and more achievable. It's very difficult. Um, I think I had a slight advantage from playing guitar. I have a good sense of rhythm 
So the rhythm patterns that you do with the feet, I would learn reasonably quickly. Um, but where I struggled a lot and still struggle today is with um, posture, presence, and actually looking like a confident dancer when you're in front of people. That's hard, that's very hard. I enjoy learning to dance and I enjoy dancing. Um, so when I'm in class, for those two hours, I forget everything else and I can just focus on, on that. Um, my day job tends to be stressful at times and I just need to get out of my own head and not think about that and, and dancing really, really helps with that. Um, I also get to meet lots of amazing people, um, dancers, singers, guitarists, especially through the festival that we organise. You get to meet these people on a social level and just engage with them and that's also fascinating and see inside their lifestyles, which is something I guess I wouldn't have the privilege to do if I was just a punter going to a show. What I get with flamenco is that where the more technique and skill somebody has, the less it looks like they do. And they just seem to be dancing on stage and communicating in a very informal way. Um, and that kind of attracted me to flamenco initially. And then when I started studying, I realized, oh, this thing that they do that looks easy, is actually really, really, really hard. So they make it look effortless, and especially the, the real professionals at the top of their game, and it's very, very difficult, but from very emotionally engaging. And it's the wonderful thing about flamenco is that you don't stop dancing flamenco after a certain age. In fact, you only learn to start dancing after a certain age. With ballet, your career can end at 25. With flamenco, you can start at 35. I started at 38, um, and I'm still enjoying it. I, don't know, I guess for a parallel with guitarists, is like you see young guitarists who play wildly fast and the older mature gar guitarists who will play half a dozen notes and make it sound much better. It's the same with flamenco. You learn, you learn when to leave things out for, for more impact. If you've never taken a flamenco class before, then it's fun. Um, if you have any interest in music or rhythm, it's definitely worth coming along. We'll do a little bit of dance steps, a little bit of clapping, and then there'll be a kind of group together where everyone who's there will actually just get together for the last couple of minutes and go through the steps as a group with some people providing percussion, clapping support. So it's, it's a fun way to kind of explore a new hobby. I mean, for me, it was a new hobby seven years ago, and now it's something that I don't ever want to let go of. Um, if you've any interest at all in, in Spanish culture, dance, then come along, check it out. Maybe you'll find that it's, it's something that you want to keep doing.